Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing and review of the Nokia X3 touch and type mobile phone. Now this is a really innovative design from Nokia because not only does it have a physical keypad but also a touch screen as well. So let's get this unboxed and we'll give you a look at what you get inside the packaging. Now I have already had this outside of the packaging to take a look at. But this is the handset itself. Now when you unpack your Nokia X3 you are going to get everything in the wrappers but I've been testing and charging this. This is the 3 pin UK charger that you get included in the packaging and underneath this section here I'll just pop all of this to one side you also get a headset, hands free headset it's got reasonably nice headphones a little bit plasticky but they do the job so two sort of nice uh, sort of sit in the ear uh, headphones they don't go deep into the ear canal they've also got this uh, little attachment here and this has got the microphone built in and this is a little clip that you would clip to your collar perhaps and it's got a push to talk button and then on this end we've got a standard three and a half mil audio jack now further down into the packaging you also get a USB cable used for getting data on and off of the phone and we get a little instruction booklet as well which is going to talk you through all of the features of the handset so Let's put that package into one side and take a closer look at the Nokia X3 itself. Let me just unlock the screen, which you do by pushing this button on the side and then tapping unlock on the screen. And you're presented with a 2.4 inch resistive touch screen. So it's not capacitive, it's resistive. So you actually have to tap it rather than just place your finger on the screen. And it's a resolution of 240 by 320 and up to 262,000 colours. I think that's one of the only things that really lets this handset down is the fact that it is quite a low resolution screen. Now it's also got Bluetooth, it's got 802.11n Wi-Fi, GPRS, HSDPA, HSUPA, so plenty of features on that, on that front. And it's also got good battery as well. Looking at the quoted battery life um, on the X3, we have got uh, up to 300 minutes talk time, 430 hours standby, 25 hours music, and 6.8 hours of video playback. Now, before I give you a look at the user interface, I'll just also let you know that this is actually running uh, Symbian Series 40, uh, sixth edition, so slightly revised edition for the touch interface. And the other characteristics of the phone on this side here it's completely blank with the exception of this little sort of catch here for taking the back off. On the top of the handset we've got charging port, USB input, 3.5mm audio jack and on this side here we have got another catch here for taking the back off. We have also got uh, the lock button to prevent accidental input on that touch screen and we've also got the volume uh, rocker up and down here. On the base of the handset We've purely got a speaker output and also the pickup for the mic. Back round to the front of the screen, front of the handset, sorry. This is the very nice screen. The keypad is also extremely nice. We've got good space into the keys and these ridges across the front, which uh, make it very nice and very sort of tactile to use. We've got hard key for uh, making and taking calls and ending calls. The end call button also doubles up as the power on off button. Then we've got a direct access button to our messaging and also direct access to our music playback. Now just a very quick break to let you know that the first part of this video was recorded with the Kodak Playtouch camera with the Sony clone stereo microphone installed and now I'm switching over to the Panasonic SD700 that I use for all of my reviews. And on with the coverage of the Nokia X3. I'm going to switch around the back of the handset here and here we've got a 5 megapixel camera very good camera creates very pleasing colors no flash which is a shame back round to the front I'm going to show you the user interface now and this is going to show a little bit better on the Panasonic SD700 so let's tap the menu key and this takes us into the familiar uh, Nokia menu you can't scroll up and down but it does give this dark area to show that there's nothing to actually scroll through 
if I exit and then perhaps go into let's go into menu again and then into apps and again this time we can scroll and the dark area comes up across the top of the screen when you've sort of hit the limit of scrolling and the same at the bottom so I've hit that limit of scrolling at the bottom and it won't actually scroll any further now the fact that this is resistive touchscreen does mean it's not quite as responsive as you might be used to on something like an iPhone but this isn't the same price category as an iPhone so you're not going to really expect a capacitive touchscreen at this price point although you might find that in some handsets the user interface is pretty good if we go back out to that home screen we've got uh, options here for clock we've also got some feedback as to uh, signal strength and battery strength and we've also got some shortcuts to the Ovi store applications uh, browser and the camera we can also get quick access to our contacts as well through the touch screen so it's a nice touch screen I think it's got limited use on a handset like this I think where this handset actually excels is when you're actually using it as a phone it's got nice nice feedback on this uh, keypad at the bottom which as you can see is also backlit nice for texting as well and uh, an overall very sort of nice size handset, it feels very nice in the hand very slim line, uh, nice metal back to it as well so nice construction and you're going to be surprised at the price before I tell you the price I should cover off something that I do sometimes forget on these reviews and a lot of people ask me is what is the sound quality like well for music playback via the 3.5mm audio jack the sound quality is absolutely fantastic very very good indeed and one of the better sounding Nokia phones I've tested with regards to incoming call quality through the tiny little speaker at the top so incoming call quality extremely good very very clear and outgoing call quality through the mic at the bottom well recipients of my calls have said that they've been very impressed with the actual call quality that this Nokia X3 produces now I'm putting a bit of doubt in the touch and type interface you can use it for sort of typing messages and things I would stick to the physical keypad at the bottom the web browsing experience is just mediocre but the price point absolutely superb £139 sim free so that's for an unlocked handset £139 now the Nokia X3 touch and type is available in various colours you can get sort of a blue colour, slate grey colour, the white I've got here also a fuchsia type colour and a pink colour as well I think it's a very nice handset uh, robust, feels like a quality made piece of kit so you're, if you're after sort of a classic uh, style handset with the, the touch sort of interface added in for if you want to use it then the X3 is well worth a look well thank you very much for watching this was my review of the Nokia X3 touch and type mobile phone. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video is sponsored by mymemory.co.uk for great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support visit mymemory.co.uk